The ESP32 has 10 capacitive touch sensors on board that can be used to detect if a person touches a wire or for example a piece of metal on the enclosure of your device. To demonstrate how this works, I will create a simple program that turns on the built-in LED as soon as you touch a wire. Before you begin, you need to know which pins can be used with the touch sensors. And this depends on your board, so look up a pinout diagram. This is the pinout for the board that I'm using, and you can see that the touch sensor is exposed on these pins, and also on these and these pins. I will go with this pin which is called touch zero or GPIO number four. And I will attach a wire to it with an exposed end. Now let's head over to platform IO and start programming. Here I have an empty project and I will start by checking how the touch sensor behaves. In the setup function, I will initialize the serial And in the loop function, I'm going to print out the raw value of the touch sensor. Now to read out a touch sensor, you have to use the touch read function. So I'm going to say serial dot print line. And then we're going to say touch read. And this function expects one parameter and that is the pin that you want to read out. Now in my case, that would be pin number four. I'm also going to add a small delay here because otherwise the loop will be executed so fast that the serial monitor will actually go nuts. Let's save this file and let's flash it to the board to see what happens. Once that is done, I will open up the serial monitor. I will attach it to my ESP32 and straight away we start seeing the values of our touch read function. And you can see that if I don't touch the wire, the value is around 102. Now watch what happens when I touch the wire. The value immediately drops to somewhere around 20. And when I let it go, it immediately shoots back up to 100. We can now use this knowledge to set up a threshold. So I will close the serial monitor so I will remove the serial dot print line and instead I'm going to say if the value of the touch sensor, so if touch read four drops below, let's say 50, we are going to turn the LED on and we can do that by saying digital right and we're going to write to LED underscore built in and we're going to turn it on by writing low to that pin. Seems counterintuitive, but this will actually turn the LED on. And if the value is higher than 50, we want to turn the LED off again. So we're going to say digital right, LED built in, but this time we're going to write hi to it. Now let's save this file, let's flash it to the board and see if it works. And sure enough, the built-in LED now turns on when I touch the wire and goes back out when I stop touching it. Now, a little cool tip is that the touch sensor will also work through thin plastic enclosures. So you can use a little bit of copper tape, stick it to the inside of your enclosure, and then the touch sensor should be able to pick up when someone touches the other side. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the series if you want to learn more about using Arduino and the ESP32.